So who is Jackson Kane? Now that's one of the questions that we've been asking over the last few days. And we played the campaign mode and we kind of dug a little bit in there. We tried to explain the ending and try to find out who was responsible, maybe who was the head of Pantheon, how far deep Pantheon was into the CIA. So we've been asking a lot of questions. And in the comments, you guys have been very eagle-eyed and very helpful to me by letting me know things that I did not know. A lot of you guys were telling me that the man that appears in the beginning of the game and then again at the end, who um, we know is part of pantheon and we know that it is one of the soldiers that infiltrated the cia you guys let me know that his name is jackson kane he did look familiar to me through the multiplayer trailers through the beta and and, and stuff like that so he did look very very familiar um but you guys confirmed it in the comments told me that his name was jackson kane and told me to look up some stuff on the bio and so we did a little bit of that and i got into the black ops 6 multiplayer bio and i found jackson kane who is the leader of crimson one he is an active cia agent and he was put in charge of the fact Crimson One, who is supposed to hunt down the rogue Black Ops operatives that consist of Woods, Adler, Troy Marshall, and so on. Now, in the multiplayer aspect of the game, we get a little bit more background of Jackson Kane. And if we check his bio in the game, it reads like this. Jackson Kane was always destined to be a Marine, inspired by the sacrifices of his father who returned from Vietnam a broken man. Kane courageously enlisted at 18 years old and he trained alongside Troy Marshall and they were both taught by Tamira West Point Chambers. Kane proved to be a promising soldier, but after his brother was killed in action in Lebanon, his ideas changed. The tragedy was so big that it took a toll on Kane as a person. And while Kane was down and feeling sad and, you know, having doubts about the CIA and what their mission was, he was reached out to by Pantheon. Now, Pantheon reached out to him in the late 1980s and recruited him as one of their double agents, so to speak. And when they found Kane, he was a hurt and broken man and he was easy to, I guess, manipulate. And they basically turned him into an instrument of their will. That is what we're getting from the background and the bio. Now, in terms of ability, it states here that Jackson Kane is a natural leader who expects excellence from himself and those under his command. Any type of failure to live up to either of those things basically causes him to get pissed off and it causes a lot of hurt. So he's a captain or a leader that demands the absolute best of his team. And Kane is described as a person always on mission and always alert. Kane never lets his guard down. He's a hard man to work with, but he's one that every soldier wants to stand behind when things go wrong. So it clearly indicates that Jackson Kane believes in whatever Pantheon is talking about, whatever Pantheon ideologies are, which we kind of know a little bit about that is to take over the world. He is basically like maybe brainwashed completely to just serve pantheon and he's clearly a very strong very courageous and very dangerous individual and so he is the perfect man to hunt down the rogue agents but this information is extremely extremely valuable because it adds more lore to kane jackson and you know a lot of us that are really into the campaign and we kind of just play the campaign and hope that the campaign answers every single question that we have and we don't have to go looking for it in multiplayer in warzone you know we don't expect to have to do that but clearly call of duty expects us to do it so by doing that we find out more information of him so now it adds depth to jackson kane and we know who the hell he is i just thought he was a typewriter i thought he was a typewriter and maybe he was an assistant of cia director daniel livingston i thought that maybe he was just put in place by pantheon there to kind of spy on livingston and kind of see the inner workings of the cia but now we know that he's an actual soldier he is very skilled and he's very dangerous and so some of the theories that some of you guys were having was saying that maybe jackson kane was manipulating or in charge of jane hero and maybe he was assigned to her by pantheon to like keep a close eye and one thing that kind of maybe brings truth to that or one thing that can make me believe that is when jane hero in the very first mission in the very first cut scene tells troy marshall meet me in my office and instantly the camera changes to kane and kane just stares at her like he's like giving her a look you know and i guess if you put it in perspective and now that we know what we know it looked like kane was kind of like saying like don't you know don't say anything stupid or don't say don't tell nobody about pantheon be 
beat your ass, you know? It could have been something crazy like that because he had like this killer look in his eye when he said that to Troy Marshall. So maybe something kind of, maybe something put him on edge or maybe he was just a little suspicious. And yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe Jackson Kane was one of those guys that was looking over Jane Harrow and making sure that she did what she needed to do and that the soft spot that maybe she had for Troy Marshall didn't affect her work for Pantheon. And I thought that was an incredible theory. And, you know, that's credit to you guys down in the comments. And so with the ending of Black Ops, right, we leave things open-ended. But now that we have more information on Jackson Kane and we know exactly who he is and what he does, we can kind of form an idea of what's going to happen in the Warzone story. It's clearly going to follow Jackson Kane hunting down the rogue Black Ops operators. And we might get to see a little bit more of his backstory or we might get to see a little bit more of who leads him. We might get a meeting or a cutscene in the Warzone story in later seasons of him meeting with Pantheon upper heads or maybe him getting caught by Daniel Livingston. There's so many different options for Jackson Kane. Um, and clearly Troy Marshall and Jackson Kane have a history with each other because they worked together for a long time. They enlisted at the same time. And so there's potential to, you know, dive deeper into that particular story. But that's basically who Jackson Kane is. He is a CIA operative who is a double agent for Pantheon. And he is the leader of Crimson One, the faction that was assigned to target and eliminate all rogue black ops agents. He is a smart and dangerous operative who will stop at nothing to complete his mission. And I would expect to see him as soon as Warzone Season 1 for Black Ops launches because I think he's going to play an incredibly big part in the new Warzone story. <laughs> Thank you.